Hello, Bahad. <laughs> so, um, we're going to have a little chat about your project here. Okay. Um, you work with Airbag on this blue diversion toilet project. Yes. And my yeah. first question is, um, what's the most unique thing about your project? Yeah. Process? Maybe let me show you the toilet. The idea is really that we built... Well, come with me. <coughs> So the idea is really that we that we built uh, the toilet as a piece of furniture, as a piece of furniture that can fit into existing infrastructure. Uh, so we don't have to build new houses or new infrastructure, uh, but it still provides the services of a toilet of, uh, in this case, feces separation, urine separation. And, but still you have a, a waterless toilet where you still have flushing available uh, for the user, you have hand washing available, you have anal cleansing that is being provided. Okay. And uh, what's um, inside there, what you say is the heart of the process? The heart of the process is really, uh, it's, it's a membrane system, so let me, let me... Sh so here you have an ultrafiltration membrane, that's the same membrane that the hotel uses to purify your drinking water and we were able to take this relatively complicated uh, uh, process engineering and to simplify it in such a way that we can keep it in here there is no maintenance there is no cleaning and you, produ uh, you produce stable water in that process and, and, um, what would you say how successful has it been so far in your, in your trials so we've had two two uh, trials, one in Uganda and one is currently going on in Kenya. Uh, the, the thing that we were most interested in is so we have a water recycling in here. So will people want this? Will people accept this? Will people like this? And there was a very high acceptance of this. And we're learning quite a bit from these trials also, things that work well, things that don't work well. So in Seattle we had a toilet that was this high and, and, and much much larger and it just didn't fit into the infrastructure and so we worked hard and miniaturizing this so we were able to get it into this form. And uh, what's currently the biggest difficulty, frustration, and it's you're facing? So we, 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 are, we are working on a modular system, a modular system that we can develop so we have on-site urine treatment and on-site feces treatment. Uh, uh, but we also have this unit, as you find here, where you have transporting of, of urine and transporting of feces and on-site water treatment. What is the, the difficulty? So we're working now on industrializing it, bringing it down to a price where it can really be affordable. Goal is $500 for this system, but you need, you need to make it mass producible and there we need to link up with industry, we need to, to, to change certain components which are just simply too expensive. Okay, and my last question is, um, have you had any collaborations with any of the other projects that are here? Are there any components that have, that are the same or where you can collaborate with them? Well, I mean, this, this fair and also this, this whole RTTC uh, project brings people together with different uh, expertise. And so we've focused on, on this water wall, on treating the water in here. Uh, we have, there's another Gates funded project, the VUNA project, uh, that has focused on urine treatment. We benefit from this and we benefit in terms of the, the uh, treatment of the fecal matter. So over there is the Climate Foundation and they would be ideal to, to uh, treat uh, the separated feces that we are producing. So we're right now in Kenya together with them, together with Sanergy and the Climate Foundation uh, and we're working on this. So over here you see the, the system where, where we're looking at on-site treatment of urine and on-site treatment of the feces and we're talking there to RTI I mean, there's a lot of expertise that we're trying to bring together. Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure.